Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Uh, today, I'm just going to talk about, so um, I have a Discord server that I use a little bit in that, and I'm trying to get more people active in that in it um, from Lord of the Rings. So if you'd like to join, I'll put the link in the description. But um, it's basically because of the video today, um, I'm going to be start doing like a weekly thing where I do a community video. Um, and I'm going to go over community reports. People send me in reports and stuff. We check them out. And we see the massive battles and breakdowns and that. It's going to be really cool. There's some really crazy whales in here. As well as some interesting uh, battles as well as you'll see. It's also we're going to be hopefully seeing some evil commanders in that as well. Because I love seeing the evil side as well. Because I don't get to play it. But yeah, so it's going to be really interesting guys. Um, if you want to, this is my Discord. So once you join the Discord, as you can see here. Um, I got the Lord of the Rings section. You can come in and you can post reports like a, a few of these people have done here. There's reports. People have even sent me videos and that. Yeah, and we're going to be going over a few of these and talking about these. But yeah, the link um, to my Discord will be in the description, guys. So yeah, that's that. Now let's go check out some of these reports and videos, shall we? Um, yeah, there's some really interesting, nice ones in here to say the least. All right, guys. So our first report today is going to be from... Danathan, um, now he's playing Gondor at the moment, um, and he's in the Fellowship of Empire by the looks of it, or could be Emperor, I don't know, it's just EMPR, um, and he's versed this guy here, this Gilgalad, um, he wanted me to show his Dane off, which is absolutely crazy, so as you can see from the battle report here, um, he does have the Iron Warriors who are amazing, a thousand of them, running a hundred of the Sentinels, probably for their avoidance and stuff like that, and then 5,400 of the Guardians. Um, as you can see, doing a lot of commander damage. Um, and you can see the damage breakdowns where he's absolutely destroyed this Gilgalad here, guys. Now, if we go and have a look at the gearing and stuff like that, you can have a look that this was no um, simple Gilgalad as well. A very strong Gilgalad. Very high respect. Um, as well as very high gold gear and stuff like that. Um, using a... It looks like they're using a bit of the tier 2s as well, which is interesting. Um, but that's how they've been running. Um, I've just got the screenshot, so I can't really show you what aspects they have on here. But there could be things like Agius or Pursuit on these, for example. Um, but yeah. But if we have a look at his Dane, guys. His Dane is really crazy. I'm going to show you it right now. So this is his Dane right now. Um, very high, really good respect level. Um, he's got the Axe of Kazakh Doom. He's got Durin's Plate. Um, he's using the cask of something. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'm not sure what effect he could have on this. It could be Agius or something like that. And then he has the Dwarves Pride, which is completely maxed as well. Running a troop combo of 100 Sentinels, 6,000 Guardians, and 700 Rams. Now, if we have a look at a little bit more of this Dane, we can see him in another battle here against a... Um, beautiful Galadriel, which when you see this Galadriel it was crazy. Basically, the Galadriel was using the full stack. He's used the same troop combination. You can see he's um he's won this a little bit, but like it was a really good battle to say the least. But overall, um, you can see the HP difference in that, but a very solid battle. But once you actually see this Galadriel, as you can see now, completely full maxed refined gold. Um, we have this, um, Noldor Sword, I'm not sure what's on it, probably Mind Split. We then have the Plate of the Citadel that does really good focus. We've got the Cask here, which, um, could do anything from Agius, for example. And then we have the Pipe, which can have anything from Heroism to Critical Care. And as you can see, this is a very high respect, like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that's near R25. And then using Marshals, Dunes, and the Mounted. Um, but it looks like they might have been a little bit down on troops, but pretty much near full. So that was a pretty cool um, one there, guys. Rightio, guys. So as you can see, we now have this video sent in from Slip Bear. who's a part of the Bears by the looks of it. You can see the breakdowns of the damage in that, what um, he did. He versed his level 50 Sauron, which was absolutely crazy. You can see 404,000 HP on that. He also um, is versing this Sauron, which has crazy gear. You can see like all of the stats and everything he's uh, gone through and shown. Um, this looks pretty much like an R25, completely max gold. Really good. There's a heroism on there. 
and 614 focus on this that is absolutely crazy guys um i don't even know what to say but if you look at the battle breakdown um his dane absolutely destroyed this sauron guys it's absolutely crazy so as you can see 353,000 of the damage was done there um to the sauron um so basically you can see 273,000 received to 373,000 um and the troop combinations you can see the troop combos there um as well as sauron using the tier 4 um really good like this is a really hefty big battle 415,000 commander damage guys that's wild but yeah, I had to show you um, some of that one because I thought that was another crazy, crazy battle there. So next, guys, we've got the Battle of the Bears here. Slip Bear versus Sun Bear. Isildur versus Elrond. Now, we know Isildur's great. Elrond's great. You can see the battle um, damage breakdown. So you can have a look at the gear here. So we can have a look at his Isildur using Bane of Elves. Very interesting. Agius um, using the Quilted Armor Focus Protection. And then he's got Narsil. The skilling looks great. Pretty much everything I would do. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, I probably wouldn't have put as many points into Dunedain Bloodline. Now, okay, this is a really good Elrond here. Elven White Knife, Hazard Training, very strong. Agius, and then Dragon Tooth. This is the go-to build that everyone's going at the moment with this Elrond. We all know his skills. Of course, he's got Conveyor and stuff like that, which gives him the chance of initiative and follow-up. Really good battle here, as you can see. Um, he's scrolling through and showing some of us of the stats here in this battle. Um, so once he scrolls down a bit, we'll be able to see who gets our first hits and stuff like that in the first round, for example. Um, so he's just showing all the damage buffs and stuff like that. There's a lot of buffs added to this fight. Um, we can see it looks like um, the Heralds were attacking there, a sealed door. So I think Elrond got the first attack in, then a sealed door. Um, in those battle breakdowns there But if we go back and just have a look at the breakdown we can see um, That it was pretty good like um, the HP of Isildur was 300,000 um, to 231,000 um, a really good battle um, Elrond was using a lot a lot of those um, What do you call them again keepers that are very good, um, but if we have a look at the damage breakdown um, you can see that poor old Isildur took 305,000 to Elrond's 183,000. Um, so even though he said in a report he lost, he's still showing um, how the breakdown went. Um, and just showing basically how strong Elrond is and the Battle of the Bears there, guys. This next one, guys, is very interesting. This was set in by Evil um, Adam Matinium. If I pronounce that wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, but basically, this is a level 35 um, Yusra versus Gandalf the White. Now, the difference is, look at the level difference. Now, this is in a non-RP server, which is pretty cool to see. So you can see, um, they're both using some tier 4. The troop combinations are very interesting. But as you can see, he's actually won this battle. And he is multiple levels lower than this Gandalf the White, which is really cool to see. Also, as you can see, guys, it was no joke of a Gandalf the White as well, using a crazy troop combination, but also with the gear, as you can see, was absolute near max full out gold and very high respect. The level difference and basically winning that battle was absolutely crazy. Rightio, guys. So next we have a report from one of my mates that I've known for a very long time. Um, and basically, as you can see here, he is using Shargrat, which is no one, I don't really ever see anyone use him. Um, and you can see he's level 42 going against this level 48 Arwen. Um, now he's officially in bag end, so I can't really show the gear. I'll be able to show you Shargrats in a moment because he has sent me that. Um, but basically you can see this, he received 184,000 to 263,000 damage. Um, he did tell me that Arwen was using all um, full refined purples. Um, but yeah, he couldn't get that extra information because he got put into bag end. 
which is a nightmare of a place. But yeah, very interesting there. Um, you can see the troop um, build-ups and stuff like that. How he was using um, a bleast and stuff like that, which probably had the follow-up, which is definitely going to help without an absolute doubt. Um, but if we have another report here where he's versing a mouth of Sauron with rhinos, with a really good report here, level 43 versus 48, receiving only 73,000 damage to the 273,000 damage received. If we go and have a look, guys, um, you can have a look at his skilling and stuff like here. So he's got full maxed out Reckless, Capdor, and then Watchman of um, Kerf Ungol. Um, and then he's got other points into the sub points, which I don't really know too much about him. So if you know more about the evil and want to help me out with this skilling, let me know. Because I honestly don't know too much about Shagrat, to say the least. Um, but he is Respect level 13, and you can have a look at his gear here. Um, so he is using some really good gear. Um, so not bad whatsoever. 330 might on a Shagrat. Very interesting to see. And then he wanted me to quickly just show you this because he thought it was funny. He's got a glitch in his game. Apparently, he's been playing this game since 1970. So, yeah. Um, that's a pretty funny one there, guys. Without an absolute doubt, yeah, lol. Rightio, guys. And then, I've just got a couple of reports I wanted to show on my own before wrapping it up for today's video. Um, so, we had a couple of interesting videos. I did some changes to my Gilgalad. And I did a Gil vs. Gil battle. Um, you can see this is a pretty nice Gilgalad. Um, I just think that the skilling's a little bit different up here. I feel like he's trying to get Commander stunned, but I would definitely go with a few points in a different other directions. Um, but yeah, a very good Gilgalad here versus mine. But as you can see with the Battle Breakdown, we did quite nice with 100,000 extra damage. Uh, we then had this awesome Faramir battle um, against this King Aragorn that was very strong, guys. Um, it was a very close battle. The Woes has definitely helped me out here. Um, but as you can see, his King Aragorn is a very hefty strong one at 442 might. Um, and then the last one I wanted to show you guys here was this Isildur versus Theoden. Uh, an, an amazingly good Theoden here, as you can see, guys. Um, got mounted unit supply, very high respect. Um, and as you can see, the breakdowns, it was a very nice, pretty even battle. Um, and I wanted to show you that one. It was pretty cool, very strong Theoden, but Isildur putting up a pretty nice fight there, guys. But yeah, I'm going to wrap up the video there, and until next time, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch you guys later. See yous.